welcome to Beautifully Created. Today I have a, not surprisingly, I have another Aldi haul, but I have something from Target. It's just a little something, but I'll show you at the end. So I will begin. So here is everything that I got right here, and the Target bag is right there. Um, I will start over here. We have some lettuce. We have two things of lettuce and we got some limes. Two limes for our dip that we make with our avocado and jalapenos and stuff. They had strawberries on sale for 99 cents which I thought was really a really good deal but I don't know not all of them looked really fresh like some of them had black stuff on it and this was like the only one I found a good one with so our avocado and then I thought this drink looked interesting it is the Bolt House Farms watermelon mint lemonade and it says with a hint of mint so I thought that looked good and then over here the two peppers Two cucumbers, carrots, and just basically stocking up on our veggie snack tray that we like to snack on. And then over here, two things of celery, some mangoes, and those were like 33 cents. Um, this thing of garlic, there's three of them. I can't remember how much that one is. But again, in this haul, pretty much everything, veggie and fruit, here is under $3. I don't think I got anything really that was $2. So, yeah. Okay. And then got this thing of onions because we were out. And some Idaho potatoes. And then, of course, there's cilantro, 99 cents. I got two of those. And then we have some nectarines. And those were a dollar something. And they look really good. They're really squishy. Um, and that is it on the veggie and fruit side. Um, I have some almond, original almond milk. And then some hash browns because I wanted to to have something that was kind of quick to make for lunch if I needed to this week. And then over here we got the fuchsia pork egg rolls and the oriental stir fry. And then the chicken lo mein and the California rolls. And guys, we totally recommend this brand. Like on our last Aldi haul, you um, saw that I got... I don't think it was there, and I don't think it's none of these, but they had something kind of like this one, but there are peppers in it, and it was like a teriyaki one, and everything tasted really, really fresh. Like, whenever I usually grab the frozen veggies at Walmart, you know, in the big blue bag, I do not like the taste of those. To me, they taste like dirt. Like, they're dirty or something, even whenever I wash them. But yeah, totally recommend these. Like, the egg rolls are so good. They're so fresh. Um, got some corn chips, because we were running low. I think we have one more bag. Some Big Dipper tortilla chips. I decided to get that. And then this nacho cheese flavor, and I'm not sure how this is going to be. Like, they didn't have Doritos, so this is the only thing I could work with. Like, we were making the taco bowl, you know, where you put the taco meat along with lettuce, olives, tomatoes, and then you just crunch this up. Well, yeah, that I think that's going to be our boat snack. And then, <laughs> and then over here, um, instead of the... What is it? The Elevation Bars? I think that's what they're called. Found out those boxes were like $4. I guess I didn't pay attention. So I'm trying these ones. They were a dollar something. This is the Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter. 
and then the mixed berry with Greek yogurt. We've tried this one and this is really good. And then the strawberry version of it. But those are pretty good. Um, oh, and bananas. Those were 99 cents. And then a pineapple because those were a dollar. And yeah, it's really good with chicken. So yeah, I did the California rolls. Um, and then over here, usually I grab the Walmart pasta in their gluten-free section. And I noticed that they were made with corn, and corn hurts my stomach and my daughter's stomach. And now, I guess it's hurting my husband's stomach. So we are trying this organic brown rice and quinoa. So there's two different like styles or textures, whatever you want to call it. And then we got some creamy Alfredo sauce because we were out. And then I thought I would try this, um, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Kiabata sandwich rolls. And there is six of those in, in that. And then over here we have olive oil and just two things of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And then my kids wanted cereal, like they were out of theirs, so they picked Berry Kids Crunch, and then just Kids Crunch, oh it says sweetened corn and oat cereal, uh oh. And then over here are some cornflakes. I always have a hard time looking for cereal there. Oh well. So now it is time for the Target stuff and I guess I'll start with the cleaning products so I went there in mine to look for the Mrs. Myers because I haven't used the Mrs. Myers yet and they had a whole bunch there and I smell every single one of them and I don't like any of them like I don't know just I guess too strong I think the yellow and green one I kind of liked, but still, <laughs> I didn't really like it. So I'm like, I'll just go back to method. Like, the first method I've ever tried was, I think it was like grapefruit or something. <coughs> or like pink passion, I can't remember what it was. It was like a, um, what was it? A limited edition, so... But yeah, this is the Method anti back All-Purpose Cleaner. It's the, the scent is Citron, and it smells really good. My husband thinks it smells like Pine Sol, but I kind of agree. But it also has a scent of, like, what do you call it? Like, lemon sweetness. I don't know, it's not as strong as Pine Sol is, but it smells so good doesn't it? Oh. Hi baby. And then the next thing is, oh you want to grab that? The next thing I got from Target is this Method Glass and Surface. It's mint and this smells really really good. I think I have, I have like the shower Method Cleaner and it has eucalyptus I think in it. And it kind of smells the same as that, Can but just a tiny bit cleaner and sweeter. And then the last thing, my favorite thing I got from Target in the dollar spot is this book of... <laughs> is this book that you can put your own recipes in. And yeah, I thought it looked really cute. So you open it up and it has a bunch of these little things you can organize however you want. So like breakfast, dinner, lunch, dips, dessert. And then once you get that done, here are the recipe cards. So you can put the title, prep time, notes, total time, and then here's a section for ingredients. And then directions and you just get a whole bunch of these. Which I thought was really cool because I'll show you what my recipe looks like right now. So here is what my recipe book looks like. It is either from Walmart or Dollar Tree. It's 
probably from Walmart because it's very heavy. And I don't think I've seen Dollar Tree come out. Well, I guess they have some biblical things, but I think it's from Walmart. So this is what the front looks like. Dang it, trying to adjust my lighting. So yeah, I started out with a Dollar Tree book and the pages ended up falling off. So I just taped it to this book and yeah, so far this is what it looks like. And then I've just been adding little things like the stuff I get from Pioneer Woman. I just put it in here. But yeah. Um, yeah, and then like this right here. That was on a pie crust box. I just tape it in here. And then again with this, I just tape that book in there. <coughs> so yeah, that is my recipe book by net right now. I plan on putting all the recipes in here that way I don't know I have a little more room and a little more organization but anyways that is my Aldi and Target haul so yeah that is our Target and Aldi haul the Target I spent like $11 on there and their cleaning supplies on method was two dollars and something so it was on sale so, yeah, I got two of those, and then the book was $3 from the Target spot. But, um, yeah, we did pretty decent on the, the Aldi haul because it was mostly veggies and then some of their breakfast stuff because they were out of breakfast stuff. And, yeah. That was quick. That was quick. And so um, the total we spent at Aldi's was... 99, 99 bucks. 99 bucks. Yeah. 99 bucks. And our, we were planning on spending like 50 to 50 ducks there. 50 ducks? <laughs> 50 we don't have 50 ducks. <laughs> that would be fun if we had 50 ducks. No, we spent, well, we were hoping to spend 50 bucks there. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and then a bonus item. I forgot to include these in. <laughs> we got some of these scent beads for the clothes. And these work awesome.